Hey everyone, Sam back once again. Yes, back with another Galaxy S4 video. And this time, we're going to test the beast. So yeah, now as you can probably see there, I've got my four benchmarking tools. I know a lot of people just use maybe one or two, but I've decided I'm going to run four in this video. Just for the fact that obviously it's a benchmark video, you want to get a kind of a round score, not just maybe one or two. But first off the bat, read that there. Benchmarks don't always matter. They're a good idea as to where the device can go, but it's not necessarily going to tell you what the best device is. Anyway, enough for the education lesson. Let's do it. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to do Antutu. Now, I've not run any of these devices previously um, because obviously I completely reset the phone to do my uh, setup video for you guys. So it's going to be a complete first uh, look at this one for me as well. So let's just bang her down there. Zoom in a little bit and let's do the start the test. So as always, I will put some delightful music on for you guys and girls right about now. Right people, now it has finished. So the scores on the doors are well, bam, 24,562, with a CPU of 11584, a RAM of 4023, a GPU of 8040, running at 1.89, so just under the 1.9, with four cores. So, if we submit that, let's see, we can scroll across, we actually got my ranking here, now as you can see, the top one is obviously somebody else's, now I believe that's the uh, 8 octa-core version, we're getting 29,000 on it, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking to possibly get an octa-core version, just because I want to see which one is the ultimate king, now obviously this one is probably a bit slower, but this one is still pretty damn fast, anyway people, on to the next one, so the next one we're going to do is, yes, the good old quadrant standard, so, let's click it, kick it into uh, gear, let's run that full benchmark, and as always, I'll put some, uh, some funky music on for you this time, And it's finished now, I've got to admit, that was the quickest quadrant run I've ever had. Um, it seemed to just kind of fly through it. So yes, click good old on there. And the scores we're getting this one is 12,618. So yeah, 1, 2, 6, 1, 8. Um, I saw somebody else do a video on there. I think, it, yeah, I think it's time for them to update the benchmarking kind of scores on this one from last year's devices. Um, yeah. I mean, look where we were only a couple of years ago with the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. What they get, sorry, the Samsung Nexus S. And now look where we are. That's absolutely crazy. So yeah. Anyway, people, let's jump on to the next one. And here we are. Yes, we've got all Linpack. Now, not a lot of people are running this one nowadays, but obviously I'm a little bit more old school in terms of the benchmarking video apps. So we'll do this one. So we're going to do single thread three times. I almost said twice. I almost said three times. Three times. Then we're going to do the multi one as well. So let's run the single one. We're getting an amazing... <laughs> Two, two seven seven five nine four, with a time of 0.3 and an armor as a 5.68 yeah I've never seen it that high ever that, that's pretty crazy run it again is it gonna get okay I have now seen it that high I've seen it higher now because now we've got it at 300 yeah that's pretty nuts and last but not least 321 now I'm thinking I'm hoping this application still still works so yeah, we've got 321. That's uh, all three times in the uh, single thread. Now let's try the multi-thread. Yeah, 638, 889. That, again, is pretty damn nuts. Is it going to go higher? 749. Ah, look at that. We have a significant drop-off. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Up in the 700s down to the low, lower 500s. So yeah, that is Linpack on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Jump into the next one. And last but certain not least, we have Geekbench 2. Now, I've not really run this one previously um, in any other videos, but I've seen a lot more people keep saying, Sam, run the Geekbench because it seems to be a universal one. So, here we go. As you can see there, it's got a memory of 1.78 gigabytes. For some reason, the Galaxy in the HTC one is 1.5. So, um, don't know how uh, they each manufacturer are running it. Running Android 4.2.2. 
obviously that's Samsung, what the Qualcomm uh, 6, Snapdragon 600 running at 1.89 gigahertz. I'm getting short changed by 0 0.01 of a gigahertz. <laughs> anyway, let's run the benchmark and let's see what we're going to get off this one. And there we have it, we have 3,209. What do you reckon? Is that impressed you? Is that impressed you enough to buy a Galaxy S4? Personally, benchmarks, once again, do not mean everything. To some people they do, but to me, it's just an indication of where the processor is. But as we all know, the processor inside this one is also in, as an example, the HTC One. So does it make much of a difference? Does the RAM make a difference? Because I believe it's running up to date RAM up to the older version that the HTC One's got in there. I may do a video based upon that later on. But that's it people, that is my benchmarking on the Samsung Galaxy S4. What do you reckon? Are you going to get one? Are you not going to get one? What other videos do you want from me? As always, leave those comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SamJPullen. And yeah, subscribe for more. I'll see you in my next video. Cheers everyone.